Yo, 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 you know who it is? It is the Bearded Hefner back with another YouTube video. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about five things you need to consider before growing out that big beard. And keep this in mind. If you're going to put down those and those and this outliners, you know, what I'm saying for a few months. So um, this is coming from firsthand experience. So I got you. You can trust me. I've been growing out the beard for quite some time now. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, and but before we start with number one, I got to make a disclaimer. This is actually completely different than if you have a stubble beard, a six o'clock shadow, or no shots, but a struggle beard, because um, it's a completely different experience. All right, so let's start it off. Number one, I can never eat a damn burger, sandwich, or pasta without a fight. Listen, man. Food becomes a whole different story when, you have, when you're dealing with sauces and pastas wrapping up in the beard and everything like that. So, listen, if there's one thing I miss about having a short beard, it's not having to deal with... <sighs> Man, I'm, 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 I'm feeling some type of way even talking about it. Um, listen, if you're going to eat pizza, burgers sandwiches with the bread is all crusting up and stuff like that you're going to be dealing with a situation where food is going to be all up in your beard and unless you have someone um that you're sharing your meal with or around that you trust who can be like you know brush it out of your beard whatever um you're going to be in for some embarrassing moments if you're walking around and then you see that girl standing over there you're like oh damn she's fine let me go holler at her and then you go say what's up girl what's up sean and next thing you know, she's clowning you because you got a pepperoni left in your beard. All right. So number two, let's actually get a little bit serious on this one. Cap on your growth in corporate America. Now, um, this is for my brothers who are working a nine to five and uh, they're, they're they They have the leverage where they can um, have a little leeway with their facial hair and whatnot. I, I'm experiencing this firsthand. Um, there's definitely going to be a cap on your growth. As far as corporate America, um, you know, like I said, I'm in IT, for, like I said in previous videos. So, you know, you can hover around those IT analyst roles, those um, engineer type roles. But we're talking about getting into like management, IT manager, IT uh uh, director, you know, VP, things of that nature. They, if you look at any brothers who are actually in that sector, they're they're usually pretty clean cut. Um, they can have like the short beard, but you're not gonna see anyone like me um, up there on that ladder. So I'm not worried about it too much since I am venturing off into working for myself and starting my own business. So. Um, but for my younger cats who are doing the longer beard for the style or whatever your reason is, uh, definitely keep that in mind. All right. Uh, number three, another one from firsthand experience. The ladies will either love it or hate it. And there's literally no in between. Um, my mom, for example, she has been pleading since it grew an inch off of my chin to cut it. Um, there are some women who won't even look my way because I have a, a long beard. But like I said at the beginning of, of number three, they either love it or hate it. There's a completely other side of women. Oh man, what's that term? It starts with a P. I'm gonna throw it in the edits like right over here. Um, there's a term for women who actually just really love beards. And um, here in New York, we actually just had a party called Must Love Beards. And um, I was there. And let's just say, yeah, yeah, 
they either love it or hate it. And if they really love it, they love it. So if you're a fella that likes to play the numbers game, uh, those are some numbers you might want to, you know what I'm saying. So we'll move on to the next one. Number four, it is another bill as far as products and supplements. So I'm not even going to touch on the supplements in this one because honestly, if you have a beer, you can either do it, grow it or not. Uh, your brothers know about biotin, your multivitamins and things of that nature. But I'm more so talking about the actual products that you put on your beard. So let's let's go down the list. You got your shampoo, you got your conditioner, then you got your leave-in conditioner, then you got your beard bombs, then you got your um, your beard oils, you got your wooden combs. You got my uh, your, your silk pillowcases. If you if you guys checked out my other video, uh, three beard tips in three minutes, y'all know about that silo pill the the silo, the silk pillowcases, and uh, yeah, man, it's another it's another bill. So you gotta be prepared to um, spend some top dollars if you don't want that beard looking raggedy as hell out here in these streets. All right, and number five. Uh, last but not least, your confidence and your swag pretty much doubles. Um, not everyone can pull it off. Not everyone has the patience. But um, to be honest, you kind of feel like you're at the top of the facial hair food chain, you know. So, you know, you have guys with no facial hair. You have guys, with, like I said, with the stubble. Um, you have the str struggle beards. You have guys who can really grow a full beard, but they keep it short. But um, the patience it takes, the money you spend for the supplements, the the comments from you know the opposite sex um, that that can deter you. Uh, your job, everything that I spoke about in this video. It can all deter you, but if you have the patience to get go through with it, and you can rock it, and you're already like a stylish brother, man, your your, your swag and your confidence goes on another level. All right, and confidence is king in the world in general. So, those are my five things that you should consider before growing a big old beard. All right, this is the bearded Hefner on YouTube. If you enjoyed the video, if it was a little humorous, you got some value from it, whatever you took from it, I would really appreciate it if you just hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Alrighty. So uh, without any further ado, salute.